the livelihoods of these people and communities will be disrupted, their property damaged or destroyed, and the cleanup and recovery period will be measured in months or years. The town of Morris has learned survival skills and adapted to the risk of life in the heart of a floodplain. The water swells northwest to Brunkild. The village of Rosenort, safe with its protective dikes. From Rosenort behind us, looking eastward, and then the town of Morris, an island. The Red River, seen only by the outline of trees north of St. Jean Baptiste. Add some still photos to the mix. The beauty of this quaint little yard is overshadowed by the sorrow one feels for its inhabitants. Train cars are parked on railway bridges to keep them from floating up and away. It's hard to comprehend the impact that the closure of the rail line has on product delivery in an already product shortage market. This isn't just a flood, it's a sea. I find it hard to believe what my eyes are seeing. How is it possible for this much water to accumulate and cover this large amount of land for just a few weeks? It's like a futuristic living organism that tries to consume everything in its path. Highway 23, east out of Morris, the only lifeline out of this island community. A welcome sign waits for waters to recede. The Cane Barn, built in 1915, is considered the largest barn in Manitoba. The beauty of a golden sunset brings with it a level of hope. Land on an isolated stretch of highway to swap out dying camera batteries 